Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new first look called Sim Casino. This is Dragon Loon and this is a game that I have been anticipating for a while. This game was developed by the same developers that made Sim Airport, another awesome tycoon game and this game came out on early access on sunday november 22nd and this is the first time i've even opened it all i've done so far is made just this minor adjustments to some of the settings such as audio and uh the graphics setting so let's go get and go ahead and get on in here and we will take a first look at this I guess the first thing we need to do is set up a new profile. So we are going to name this Dragonloon. Uh, and we are not going to make any other adjustments. And we are just going to go play. And here we are, our first casino. Welcome to Sim Casino Early Access. Please use Steam forums for reporting bugs. Okay, okay, okay. Um. All right, I guess it just dumps us right in. Hmm. All right, so uh, I uh, thought there would be a tutorial, but I guess there isn't. Um. So we'll just have to uh, figure this out on our own. Uh, you can scroll using, or move around the map using the right mouse button, or WASD. Uh, you can spin the camera using the middle mouse button. And uh, panning up and down is also middle mouse button. So, all right. Um, oh, and you can rotate the mouse or camera with Q and E. And yeah. So let's see here. We have wall tools for building rooms and dividing interior. Press tab to switch to two level walls. What? Okay. Uh, fences, foundations. Uh, all right, we'll probably need to add foundations to expand. D-zone, all right. Uh, demolish walls and fences, okay. Demolish structures, remove flooring, and eyedropper. Ah, there's the build menu down there, okay. Guest experience, gambling, gambling hub. Oh! Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, entertainment facilities, inventory and transit, casino operations, staff hub, and research. Hmm. Requires a admin with an office. All right. I really wish that there was a way to... Oh, and we can go up and down. I guess there's no underground yet. Uh, I wish there was a... um. A tutorial but let's go ahead and get into building and it looks like here is all of our features oh they also give us an air conditioning unit where we have to provide it. wow this is going to be in depth and interesting all right, and then we got paints, and we got floors. All right, and gambling attractions. This is what we want, uh, a cashier cage, but we already have an ATM that is waiting for a delivery of coins and notes by a security guard. Okay, um, and we have slots. We have multiple different types of slot machines, awesome. And then we can go in, ooh, gambling facilities. Oh, we can sort by those. Nice. So all we have right now, until we research more, is slot machines, all right? Under entertainment, we have bingo card. Okay. So we can do bingo. Nice, we can have theaters. Uh, 
private dressing room. Interesting. Baths. Okay. So I guess we can make hotel suites, it looks like. Are there beds anywhere? Nope, I'm not seeing any beds. Uh, business services. Computer desks, stores, printers, okay. Conference tables, okay. Oh, accommodations, there we go. We have accommodations. We can build a hotel as well. Staff facilities. Uh, delivery storage, cash vault, okay. Wait, what? Oh, that's how they get in. They get in through the cash vault. I don't think I like that, but that's okay. Uh, dumpsters for outside, trash bins and offices, okay. And then security facilities, which we'll need to research those. Food services, so we can have dining areas. Comfort and guest facilities. Uh, for lounges, I'm guessing, and decorations. All right, so let's get in here and we will build some slot machines. Oh, look at that. We can change the object and you rotate with the R key. All right, so let's put a couple of these slot machines. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna put a couple of these slot machines right here. Okay. Oh, and down here is our cash with $30,000 in the vault. Awesome. Okay, and uh, then we're gonna change slot machines to these, and we're gonna just keep these pink pink chairs, and we'll add a few more of these slot machines here. We'll just do three of each to get going. There we go. And why don't we put a big TV over here for people to zone out on. All right, so let's turn on, and we are almost out of money. And here comes our first customers. Oh, no. We lost a customer. So now we just wait for customers. Ah, here comes our first customer. All right, so in order to do research, uh, we need a office. So what we are going to do is we are going to build an office after we look at income. Ooh. Well, collection, added to bank, okay. Hmm. Gambling, we, ooh, slot machine income. We made $15. <laughs> Not sure why we don't show any total income, but look at that, we have more visitors. Hey, we're up to a total of five visitors today. Nice. All right. Back to what I was doing. Sorry, getting sidetracked there. Uh, we want walls. Walls. Go. All right, and we are going to make a hallway there and we'll rotate around so we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to go this way like that. And we're gonna do a locked door and keep it the default color. Now, how do we zone staff facilities? All right, so we need a comp Oh, that's a staff door. mantle and put a staff door. We'll put the staff door there. And we'll put a computer desk uh, right there. Uh, must be in a functional computer room, research office, pit boss office, or hotel bedroom. Okay, so how do we zone it? Doors. Oh, I guess right there. Uh, we will, well, 
why don't we do this? Let's grab our wall tool and we will section off that section for now. And we will res do research room right there. It is enclosed, isn't it? Oh, okay. Research room. There we go. Now, how do we hire staff hub? Uh, workman, pit boss, admin. Let's go here. Idle. Okay, so we already have one admin. So let's go to research, and we are going to research. What are we going to research? Hmm. Um, gambling rules, maybe? All right, well, let's find out, because I want to... Bigger advantage and requires placing a cashier cage first. Okay. Requires place... Ah, so we can have some normal facility... What I would consider normal facilities. But we need a cashier's cage first. But we need more money for the cashier's cage. Holy crow. Uh, let's take a look at our... No, not loans. That. Hmm. All right, so let's increase the speed. All right, so it looks like we are going to need to take out a bank loan. And I think we're just gonna go with the standard, the basic one. And not a bad interest rate. Probably could do better, but not a bad one. So we will accept that and pause the game so that we can then build a cashier's cage. Like that, and we'll build. Can we not build a second one? No, I guess we cannot, but can we? Aha. I do not like that positioning, so we will dismantle it, and we will... This, right there, and... Second one right there. Alright, and now let's get some blackjack tables. We'll put a blackjack table right there. And right there, gotta have a roulette ta a couple of roulette tables. And that's all we have enough money for, so we'll do that. Okay. At one, at least one pit boss hired and currently scheduled in your casino. Zone a pit boss office. All right, so. Let's make a pit boss office. And we need to go to staff and go here and we will go like that and we will go pit boss office there. And we need a computer desk in there. There we go. Now we go to staff. And we have one that is away. Can we hire a second pit boss? Hmm. Not sure how to uh, hire another pit boss. So we'll go ahead and turn the speed back on. Uh oh. We're out of money. Oh, I guess we hire another pit boss by providing another office for the pit boss, maybe? That's probably it. Can we take out another loan? At 90% interest rate? Uh uh. No way. All right, so I think we got it. So what I had to do was go into our, in here to our staff overview and go to manage schedules and go to our pit boss and schedule some hours. Now I uh, added a new schedule for day uh, or I named it day and I wish I could rename daytime 
to something else. Uh, and then I added an area, uh, patrol area around our tables. And I think that allowed us to have a pit boss on staff. So now, now we just wait. Ah, great. People are at our blackjack table. But I do want to make a change. I got to the overlays somehow. I don't remember how the quick access, but what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes. Do the patrol route like that. <laughs> okay, now let's check our cash flow. But we have a lot of not collected game chips. Okay, why aren't they collected? Hmm, this is interesting. Inventory and transportation, okay. Garbage, okay. All right, well, unfortunately, Something weird is going on where my gambling tables and slot machines weren't being collected, the money that I made from them. So that is really weird. And the tutorial isn't available. So uh, unfortunately, not much that I can see. I'm not sure what I was doing wrong. Maybe if we go back in here and try again. Nope, we're not gonna do that because that is where uh, we were almost bankrupt. Um, so yeah. Let's try a brand new casino. So we will name this Dragon Loon one. <laughs> uh, and we'll start with a million dollars. Pre-built starter map. Okay. All right. And now that I know kind of what I need to do, we are going to come in here and we are going to build some offices here for our pit boss. No, this is gonna be our research office. Okay, and then we will have small room. We'll have two rooms here. So we can have eventually two pit bosses, but we'll hire one pit boss for now, like that. All right, and then we'll go to our gambling and we will set down a cashier cage there. And we'll put a Texas Hold'em table right there, just one. And we'll put a black ba blackjack table there, just one, and one roulette table. Then we'll put one of each slot machine there. And we'll put a three card poker table, because I didn't see it before, there. And we'll put up a TV right there. All right. Now, now we'll leave it there and then we'll come in here to manage schedule and we'll go to our pit boss and create a patrol area. Like that. And we still have almost a million dollars. Hmm. We will leave it like that and see how things go that way. Why do we have so many workmen? Oh, we only have two workmen. Huh, that's interesting. And our first customers are here. Oh, and while we are at it, let's, let's research the sports book. 
so that we can do some betting on the big TV. All right, folks, so I discovered what my problem was before. I wasn't bringing in enough. Now, for whatever reason, the gambling net uh, isn't going up, um, and the uncollected prizes isn't going up either. But your vault collections, that's where your in revenue increases, I believe. I could be wrong on that one. Don't know. We're gonna have to continue to watch and see. Um, but I think what we can do is try adding a few more roulette tables, because that brings in a decent amount of money. And we'll add another blackjack table. And oh, and we got the betting window open, so betting screen. We'll put a betting booth. Betting window booth. Uh, right here, we'll put a betting screen right there. And then we'll put a couple of betting booths like that. Now, what's this? Failed patrol. Well, let's take a look, because I was gonna change the patrols anyway. So let's do this. We'll patrol like this, uh, around like that. And we will change this to pit one. Now let's add another patrol, just like that. And we will name that pit two. All right, now, do we now have two pit bosses? No, we only have one pit boss. I bet you we need another pit boss. Room, so let's build that. And what did that do? Ah, that gave us another pit boss, excellent. Needs sports booking zone. Okay, ah, sports book. And we'll do that. Ha ha, there we go, all right. Paid for, bad, ha. Huh. Okay, now we're starting to get something there. That's interesting. Yep, now we're starting to get somewhere. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Steep learning curve, but we got it. All right. So what we're going to do, bigger advantage lobby for double house advantages at slot machines and table games when editing the rules. Okay. Hmm. Well. Sure. Why not? All right, folks. So uh, I went ahead and added in a couple more things, uh, such as a buffet area, because uh, I figured that would help us earn more money quicker. And I also did a little bit of research or attempted to do some research to try and figure out why uh, nothing is being collected. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't find that answer just yet. It might, might be a bug. I don't know. It's just because the game just came out on early access as of this uh, recording uh, one day ago. Um, so, uh, yeah, not sure. It's still a really fun game. Uh, so, ooh, one thing I do want to try and do. Uh, where is it? 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 Uh, security. Nope. Uh, staff facilities. Yep, yeah, there we are. St nope, not stock storage. Well, maybe. Put a storage shelf in there? Aha! Yes, that did increase the capacity. Not that we're uh, over capacity just yet. Uh, so, uh, once these tables, the uh, coins and notes uh, section, uh, gets to a certain point, my guess is about half of the total amount, it gets collected. Uh, same with the uh, slot machines. Uh, they get collected probably at about half. Um, I haven't seen the cashier cage uh, get anything. 
so that's kind of interesting. Um, it's also really interesting that the vault uh, is going down. So I'm not sure. Uh, but we're almost in the green. <laughs> almost. Mm-hmm. So we can make some edits. All right. So. Minimum players is two. Yeah, we like that. Blackjack. Ooh. Casino commission. That might help. We'll do that for the blackjack tables. Okay. The roulette tables. Uh, we'll enable casino commission for all of that. See if that helps income. That's nice. Uh, three card poker. Again, we'll enable casino commission. Oh, right. Um, entertainment facilities? Bingo, no bingo, no Okay, okay. Transfer card. Mm hmm. All right. That's awesome. Now we're making a decent amount from our retail. I wonder if we're going to start making a decent amount from our commissions. Don't know. But. We can now add in some new tables. So let's try this out. We will add in one of those and a couple of craps tables. I think that one. Nope, not right there. Dismantle that craps tables. Right there, and right there. Oh, I don't like that positioning. Now, let's take a look at hit two. Um, all right, why can't we? All right, so I guess we need to change this. Oh, because the pathfinding changed. All right. So we'll go to pit one. We'll change that up. We'll have them go around like this. And they'll come in here to the bedding area and cover slot machines and then back to the blackjack table. And then pit, pit two will start here and work their way around these tables here making sure to grab the craps tables like that yeah all right now let's see if we can bring in some more money from the craps even though it's not being collected for whatever reason all right so I've let the game run for a bit. I've added in a few things, uh, some fencing here to try and get people to use the cashier's cage. Uh, can't figure out why they're not, but hey, I did add in a few more ATMs because those are what are used for the slot machines, hoping to start earning a little bit more from the slot machines. Um, But still, I'm doing okay. I'm not doing great. I'm not earning a profit yet, uh, but I'm doing okay. Seems like there's still some things that need to be worked out. Uh, please keep in mind if you're interested in this game and seeing the content that this game is still in early access, so there are going to be bugs. Uh, and it seems like there are still a few bugs, but I'm sure the developer is going to be working those out. Uh, and this seems like a really, really fun game. I might do a few more episodes. I don't know. I might just uh, keep watching and uh, get back with you guys when there's major updates. I don't know. We'll have to see. But as always, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button. Really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more really awesome content. Until next time, stay frosty out there.